Hey there, explorers and adventurers, it's Oscar bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Dark Tales Season 2. <gasps> We're on to Season 2 finally. Episode 1, The Most Dangerous Game Night. Interesting. I'm a little bit nervous because like the last episode so much happened because it was like a two-part special finale thing. Loads of shit went down. We got to see Della, right? Their mother. We got to see her up in the moon because apparently that's where she is. And Lena becoming Webby's shadow, kind of like how Aunt Magica was her shadow. Like Lena kind of still living on inside Webby. There was a lot of stuff happened and I just worry that now the show is going to do that thing that it does but he just drops all of that and goes over and picks up a new toy. And I'm like, I need it to continue. I need it to continue. But it won't. This will probably be an un... An un related episode to any of that we will see anyway either way though i am still excited to watch because i love this show i love how endearing it is it is great hopefully you guys are still excited to watch along with me don't forget to thumbs up video click subscribe to join me on this journey if you want access to the full raw early uncut version of all my reactions as well as being two episodes ahead make sure you click the link in the video description down below it will take you to my patreon but that is enough fanny around so here it is and we're going to click play and get started let's go Ooh. Ooh, jungle. Here we are, there they are. Okay, the way that they just like highlights all of their different personalities in that one opening of the door. Like Scrooge was standing all proud and stuff, just like Dewey. Dewey is like a very young Scrooge. He's really excited to be there. You've got Webby who's equally just as excited but a little less grumpy looking. You've got Huey who has got his book out and he's like ready to learn and explore. And Louie, Who's me who can't be bothered and is getting dragged? <laughs> I love the little insight into the characters just from that clip alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeesh! I mean, that would be me too, though, if I'd worked in a giant spider web. Oh! Wow, they've got their own fucking theme song. They've got their own fucking theme song for the two of them. Excellent. I mean, they do get on very well. They do work very good together. I love the how Webby lit up the minute she heard the whistle. That was very cute. Step, 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 step. Wow. Yeah, that would be me. Louise, maybe, like, maybe it's time to just accept defeat with Louis. Maybe it's time to just accept that Louis, this isn't for him. Maybe it's just time. He likes the treasure aspect, but he clearly doesn't like all the stuff relating to getting to it. Maybe you can make him, like, your treasurer or something? I don't know. Just grab it already! The item of Sybil is not a trinket to be unceremoniously swindled. Can we just wrap up the wall? and get to the wait what already <laughs> wow wait what that cool thing is dangerous or cursed or guarded by centaurs ah louis almost dies can we please move it along <laughs> how it goes whoa wait, ah, here we go yep there it is well that doesn't mean that that's there goes yeah there it goes poor louis <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Louis gonna be like no, absolutely not. Yes. I thought life with a treasure hunter would be way more treasure and way less hunting. We're a fine-tuned action machine. I'm the brain, he's the fist. Dewey's the devil make care guts. You are there too. Plus, it's earned me the rank of You Exist. Senior Junior Woodchuck, two strides! Look, I'm sure you'll get time off after we find this treasure. Unless this treasure is cursed. Hey, maybe when we get back you can earn that sewing badge. I earned my sewing badge ages ago. Come on. Hey, then how did this guy come loose? Ooh. Oh, you must be more tired than you realized. You're slipping. I never... That's cruel, Louis. That's cruel and you and me both know it. Although, to be fair, I did notice that it was like the stitch was kind of a little bit off in the last shot. So, like, valid. Uncle Scrooge, all this constant adventuring is tearing us apart. Nonsense. We are 
closer than ever. Really? Are you sure? Teamwork makes a dream work. Do we even really know each other? I mean, is this Yui or, or Dewey? I don't know which one has the hat. <laughs> Really, Scrooge? Really? After all of season one? You gotta do his name right in like episode three of season one. Like, don't let Louie throw you off. What about a quiet movie night in? Oh, that sounds great. I honestly, like, don't get me wrong, like, while the adventuring thing sounds amazing, I am with Louie. Like, if it would have been back to back to back to back, I would want a night on the couch with a movie and a pizza. Hands up if you agree. <laughs> oh, how about game night? Game night. Oh, he said the right thing. That was it. Oh god, here we go. Oh gosh. No, I don't think you realise what you've done, Louis. I think by the end of this you're going to want to go on an adventure to get away from him. up, everyone! If we lose, you're out of the will. Wow. Oh, it's gonna test them so much, Dewey and Webby, isn't it? It really is gonna test them. Oh, and Hubert and Louis are together. I will be a snap. I must go. No, you blasted phantasm. You will not leave me to deal with this. Spooky things. Spooky things. Fuck off. No! Oh no, she- no, 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 no. <sighs> Watch Launchpad be amazing at this, but all I can think about is how much he's gonna mess everything up. You were right, man. We've gotta stay in. Recenter. Oh no, so, for Huey. Totally basic skill. Okay, it'll be a weird, stressful night in, but at least there's no- ah! All right, Seahawk. Behold, clear loose microphone capable of amplifying some disability feedback. Oh. Now it's going to become useful. It makes tiny sounds loud. I believe there's a microscopic civilization of wandering nomads invisible to the naked eye living right here. What the fuck? No, hard pass. What the fuck? What the fuck? You can't. <laughs> First of all, Louis, I should say. Stop it. That's mean. But secondly, I get it. And thirdly, <laughs> what? What in the hell da shit is this? I also added a shrink ray feature. Wow. We'd never get a break. Even when we were home, we would just keep on adventuring. Exactly. <laughs> Clever. <gasps> what did you do? Ah. You shrunk them. Wait, what? They're in a war with a bunch of giant ants? <clears throat> ah! He almost got eaten by a spider but survives and teaches everybody a lesson in trust or something! Why did I feel like he was like quoting the, like a movie plotline or something? Pop, let Gyro have his own adventure while we take it easy for once. And we can have a quiet, Poorly. rejuvenating night in. All he Go wants. On your skills. And we can't tell anybody because if you do tell anybody, things will only get worse until you'll never be able to sew a merit badge onto a sash ever again, okay? <laughs> That was a bit much, but I do still agree with you. <laughs> that would be me. Some sort of bird thing. Not me a nice flight. Oh. Oh wow. They're really good. Oh, that's why he picked Donald. You spend 30 years guessing what Donald is saying? You must get good at nonverbal communication. That's actually a really fucking good point. That's a very good point. Those two can barely stand each other. Imagine what a perfectly in sync team like us can do. Yeah, I don't think these are going to be as in sync as you think. Sour. Sour grapes. Old proof. This could be like Scrooge or something, right? Money. Expensive smoothies. Smoothies with cash in them. Swim away from the smoothies. Prune <laughs> smoothies. No. It was Scrooge McDuck. Ah, just a slight hiccup. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> Huey. Uh huh. Wait here. Did you say something? Keep it together. Poor Huey. Do the bidding of your god king. What was that? No, yep. Great guess, Huey. Do the bidding of your god king. Says it right there. <laughs> Oh. Unfortunately, my people have declared war on the evil giants. That's you. Wait, that is what? definitely Hilda. That is definitely, we've got some fucking Hilda shite happening here. It's our night off. You can handle this mess on your own. Of course I can. For I am Shiro the Mighty. Shiro, here come the ants. Ah! Giant ants, shrink them, shrink them. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Poor Louis, I feel so fucking sorry for him. He just wanted a movie night in with pizza. He just wanted one night off to sit and eat pizza. That's all he wanted. Got any guacamole? <laughs> there he goes. There goes lunch pad. Wait, I seem to be stuck in a giant world of nightmare horrors. Hey, there's Gyro and a bunch of guys. Ooh, a giant spider. That's Elijah when she comes to my house. <laughs> ooh, a giant spider. Well, it's not really ooh, a giant spider. It's more like, oh, hello, friend. I'm going to go over here. Holy shit. Now, I think that was more or less what she said when she saw the latest one, which um, apparently did some sort of it clown impersonation when it was crawling out from behind one of the cabinets. I'm still so sorry about that, babe. I do get fairly sized spiders in this place, so apologies. We've been on dozens of adventures. Why are these recent ones any different? Look, I just... We need a break, all right? Well, I'm telling Uncle Scrooge. Huey! Louie! Boys! Louie! Have you seen Launchpad? Why don't you just admit you need a break? I'm pretty sure everybody would understand if you said, Everybody, I just need one off. Like, can you just go without me? I just wanna, I just need to not. I'm gonna go and soak in a bath, hang back with Donald, spend the night with him. I'm sure they'd be fine. You don't have to keep playing it off like everybody needs this when it's just you. It's okay to admit that. What's going on? Oh, no. Without my partner, I can't play. Curse my luck. Just curse it. Good night. <laughs> Valid. One Valid. And I promise we'll set everything straight. <laughs> Team Uncle for the win! Cute. At least they're doing well. They seem to be bonding. Does the bulbar thing have wings? Does it? It does. I knew that. I knew that. Totally insane. Right. The thing is, the thing that you two need to learn is that your differences are what actually make you a good team. The fact that Webby knows things that you don't and you can do things that Webby can't and vice versa, that's what makes you a very good team. But the fact that, that, that Scrooge and Daffy Duck can kind of do a lot of similar things means that they're not good at covering each other's weaknesses, of which they have a few. Well, Scrooge not so much, but Donald, yeah. You're tapping two blocks. No, I'm not. Well, it's not moving by itself. Mm -hmm. In honor of our victory over the spider, Gyro demanded an offering. So we're trying to conquer the Tower of Infinity in the TV room. Tower of Infinity? What? Oh no. Oh, it's them that's doing it. <gasps> it's so dramatic from like their point of view. And it's just like a from theirs. <laughs> No, oh, he's good, he's okay. Hello? <laughs> They're okay. Yes! It's nice to talk to your friends on the phone. It's so much more <laughs> personal than texting. <laughs> wow, Louis. Uh, Tell them, talk to them. <laughs> they thought the tower was a tramp, so now they've decided to use Gyro's doohickey to declare war on us all. <laughs> I'm trying to be intellectual. Oh, great. Gyro. What are we gonna do, Louis? No stress. I feel so sorry for him. He just hey, wanted a night. With you? Nothing. I'm just lovably lazy. No, seriously. <laughs> Why Me. have you been so down on adventuring lately? Because I'm not good at it, okay? Mom was great at adventuring and she still got hurt. Yep. I'm only good at talking my way out of it. How long before that's not enough? Yeah. Are you really gonna let our family get hurt because you're afraid to get hurt? Wait, where's the microphone? Oh, fuck off. No. Scroogeopoly. No. Of course it'll be Scroogeopoly. Mallard the edition. The challenge feels extremely rigged. Maybe we'll play on our own. I'll be the top hat. I'll be the other top hat. And I will be the top hat. Oldest player goes first. Every time I play Monopoly with Elijah, she always kicks my ass and she always feels so bad about it. It's the cutest fucking thing in existence. Every time she's like, she has to take money, she's like, I'm sorry. <gasps> I saw it and I'm like babe that's the game like it's, it's fine and then I'm like right well I'm out and she's like I'm so sorry I'm like oh my god you're fine calm down rent and dividends on all the rest and wow in jail. that would be me that's that is me that is me in fact I feel safe when I'm in jail because I get to avoid all her properties oh no here it goes here it comes oh there it goes there it goes there it goes. Uh, 
Oh, so this is what you guys look like finally getting to see you. Just, um... No? No? Just saying. That's what I've done. They don't trust outsiders for some reason. That's valid. Quick, unshrink them, Luger! <laughs> Ah, oh, you unshrunk the wrong person. Louis, why did you give it to Huey? He can't see. You've got your little magnifying glass. You should have done it. We can't just glass wildly. We need a plan. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Come on, Louis. What do I do? What do you do? Are you the plan maker? Launchpad. Crash your way out of there to break them up. What do I crash with? I don't see anything crashing. Yeah, there you go. You're doing a fantastic job. Scrooge and Donald, corral the gyro puddlings on the barge place. No, come on, Scrooge. Let's go, Scrooge. <laughs> Show him what a senior junior woodchuck can do. Yolk. Hey, well done, Huey. That works. Get up to those flies. Okay, use your technique. Come on, let's go. Shouldn't Scrooge and Donald do it? Kind of busy, kids. Yep, come on, you need to use one of your special moves. That's what makes you perfect. How are we even friends? Of course you're not friends. You're family. Yeah, oh, it's cute. Yes, you're family. I'm just like, I, is that another hint to Webby being in some way related to Scrooge? Because we've had a lot of them now. Hmm, interesting. Shrink him. And enlarge the aim. Well done. There you go. I believe it was my turn. Oh my god, seriously, Scrooge? Seriously? You're kidding? Oh, of course you are. I have 13 different apologies, depending on how mad you are. Why is that so funny? Why is that so good? 13 different apologies, depending on how mad you are. That's really clever. I'm stealing that. You saw the angles, didn't you? You saw all the pieces on the board, devised a plan, delegated and executed perfectly. You even offered the wee warriors a permanent home. On the Monopoly board, that's cute. You know how I made my fortune? With the ability to read a situation and see all the shortcuts and the possibilities. I love the way David Tennant does his voice when he's softening it like this. You can still tell that it's him, but there's a very Scrooge-like essence that he does to his voice and his voice acting that's uniquely that character and it's so well done. He's brilliant. Could do it. So could do. You. I should have seen it the way you were picking apart those adventures earlier. Ah. Wow, wait what? They are. If you apply that gift, you might be a bigger billionaire than I am. Ooh. Is that foreshadowing of like Louis one day ending up like Scrooge? Ooh, interesting. It's not a number one dime, but it's a start. Oh, <gasps> That's cool. Well done, Louis. Louis Inc. Adventure is our business. <laughs> I turned into a business. <laughs> I love this show. I really do. I really, really, really do. Okay, so we didn't really get anything more about Della, but we did get a much needed Louis focused episode, which was really nice, where we got to see what his positioning is in the team. And we got to see like how Dewey and Webby are going to be going forward as well, that working together. We're probably due a bit more of a Huey focused Although he was quite heavy in this episode as well. It'd be nice to get a little bit more of him too. I really enjoy this show. You guys know that. I really, really, really do. Hopefully you guys enjoy my reactions. So if you want access to this in its uh, full 32 minute long version, you can click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon. I tend to be two episodes or so ahead. However, I am going to give you the announcement right now if I've not already done it, because I can't remember. I will be taking a break from likely DuckTales and Dragon Prince throughout the months of October and November because we have Vox Machina coming back in October and Arcane dropping in November. Both of them are going to be requiring my attention. The least performing shows on my channel are going to be the first ones that get paused, which is going to be Dragon Prince 100%. DuckTales was keeping par with Steven Universe for a while, but now Steven Universe has started to overtake it. So if there's any of my shows that I'm going to be continuing throughout those months and chipping away at, it's probably going to be Steven Universe. However, I will try and do the occasional DuckTales episode for Patreon. I would like to like give you guys at least one episode every 
two or three weeks if I can, just so I'm ticking it by. I just thought I would give you that a little heads up overall. Cannot wait for season two of DuckTales, really excited for it. Don't forget to thumbs up video, click subscribe, and leave me your fake spoilers for the season two of DuckTales down in the comment section down below. But that's all I've got time for. I will see you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back, guys.